Hey, I'm going to show you how to apply the Ken Burns effect in Elemental. You know what Ken Burns is, right? It's where the screen moves towards you. That kind of effect. Or probably not as grotesque. Now, applying this is actually not that difficult. You could use the slides that are already available within Elemental, but there's a little bit of a problem with it. Let me explain. I've got a section here which is fit to screen. And if I want to apply a Ken Burns effect, traditionally what you would do is you go to Style, you hit the slideshow over here, you pick your images. So I'm just going to pick two images. Okay, and once you've inserted those, you will have the functionality down here for the Ken Burns effect. Don't worry about the repeats. In fact, no, I better sort out the repeats because someone here is going to say that's not good. So let's put it onto cover and I'm just going to say center, center. Now by applying the Ken Burns effect that I've just done here, we have some other settings that come into play, like the direction in and out and all of that. But the idea is, is that when I preview this, you can actually see what it's doing now. And it's going to flick over to the other image very, very shortly. So you can see the Ken Burks Burns effect is working fine. But here's the problem with it. If I now go in and I remove one of the images, so I just have one image present, okay, and I now update and I preview that. Can you see the Ken Burns effect working? It's not working. So you do have to apply a bit of CSS code. Now, there is a method and some code you can use, which is in the description, but there is a problem with it because of the way we think we need to apply it. And when I show you the workaround, you're gonna go, oh my God, was that it? So just follow this through, okay? So we still have one section. You can have as many columns as you want, by the way, okay? I'm just gonna, for the sake of simplicity, make this be a boxed width of 700 pixels because I want to make a point of something when I show you this. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to drop in a header. Even though we're doing Ken Burns, I just want to show you something that I think is really, really important. Let's just make this a white font, okay? Let's just make it quite weighty. Add your header, whatever. Now we're going to add our background image. So rather than you going to the slideshow, which is what we were doing with the Ken Burns effect before, you're now going to click background type and you're going to pick your image. We're only going for one image. We're going for this one here. I'm just going to make it center center and I'm going to go with cover and we'll go with no repeat. Okay, pretty, pretty simple so far. Okay, there's no Ken's Burns effect. Ken's Burns, Ken Burns effect applied at the moment, but we do have a header. While I'm still in the section, I go to my CSS class. So this is for the section and I'm going to call it Ken image like that. Okay, Ken image. You would give it uh, whatever name you want, but I'm calling this Ken image. We then go to custom CSS. So I've dropped in the code and you can already see what's happening on screen, but please ignore that. Just pay attention to the fact that we have the Ken image. We have this code, okay. Um, and what it's now doing is it run, It takes 15 seconds in effect to go from nothing to where it needs to end up at. Please bear in mind though that if you were to change that to be two seconds, it would be really quick. By the way, it's not going to loop as well, okay, just super quick. If you change it to 100 seconds, it's going to be super slow. I've gone for 15 seconds. Let me just update this and let's preview it. Now, can you see that? Focus on the text the text is moving. Can you see that? The text is moving, okay? This effect is probably not what you want to happen. Now, there is a fix for this, and when I show you the fix, you're gonna go, ah, oh, is that it? The first thing we need to do is just add in a little bit of text over here to the code. So where it says Ken image, we now also have to apply this bit, elemental background overlay. Now, when we've done it, nothing changes, nothing is moving, and you might think it's not working, but the clue is in the extra bit of code there, elemental background overlay. Let's go back to our style, and we're gonna remove the image from the background. There is now no longer any image in the background. We go to background overlay. There was the clue. We go to classic, and I'm gonna pick that image again, like this. So we got the image again, I'm going to set this to be center. You can even see what it's doing on screen now. I've got all my settings again, no repeat, center, center, cover, whatever. I'm going to set the opacity to be one because I want it to be fully visible, clear, and whatever. And I'm now going to hit update. 
The great thing is though that when you use background overlay, you do have additional CSS filter options opened as well. So if you want to increase the brightness or if you want to increase the contrast or whatever, you do have those available. You don't normally get that you see with your normal background. So extra little things there by using background overlay. So let's update this and let's preview it. Now we've got the overlay, sorry, we've got the Ken Burns, but the text isn't moving. And the screen size, even though it looks like it's growing there, you don't need to worry about that, okay? Because you'll have another section and just make sure the section underneath has a higher Z index, okay? So this section might be Z index one. Section two, just make sure it's Z index two. And even if it grows a bit because of the Ken Burns effect, you won't see that. But in effect, that was doing it without changing the text within. The code is in the description. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and we'll keep seeing you.